Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're serious about dominating in Call of Duty Mobile, then improving your aim is crucial. In today's video, I'll be sharing some essential tips and techniques that will help you sharpen your aim and start racking up those kills. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned player, these strategies are guaranteed to level up your game. Let's get into it 1. Find the right sensitivity settings. First up, let's talk about sensitivity settings. Getting these right is the foundation of good aim. Call of Duty Mobile offers a variety of sensitivity options, from simple to advanced. The key is to find a balance between quick movements and precision. Start with the basics. Adjust your standard sensitivity to control your general movement and your add sensitivity to control your aim while aiming down sights. I recommend starting with a medium setting and gradually adjusting based on how it feels in-game. If you find yourself overshooting targets, lower the sensitivity. If you're too slow to get on target, increase it slightly. For more experienced players, consider exploring the advanced mode, which allows you to set different sensitivities for each scope. This can give you greater control, especially if you use different weapons with varying ranges. 2. Master the HUD layout. Next, let's talk about your HUD layout. Customizing your HUD is essential for improving your aim because it ensures that all the controls are where you need them to be, minimizing any awkward finger movements that could throw off your aim. Go into the HUD layout customization menu and experiment with different placements for your fire, aim, and movement buttons. A popular layout is the claw method, where you use more fingers to control different actions. This allows you to aim and shoot simultaneously with greater accuracy. Remember, it might take some time to get used to a new layout, but once you do, the improvement in your aim will be noticeable. 3. Practice your aiming technique. Now that you've got your sensitivity and HUD settings dialed in, it's time to focus on the actual mechanics of aiming. When it comes to aiming, there are two main techniques, tracking and flicking. Tracking is when you follow a moving target with your crosshairs, keeping it centered on them as they move. Clicking is when you quickly snap your aim to a target, often used for those fast, unexpected encounters. To practice tracking, spend some time in your training mode and focus on moving targets. Try to keep your crosshairs on the target as smoothly as possible. For flicking, try snapping your aim between targets at different distances, practicing the speed and precision of your movement. Another tip is to use, aim down sights adds effectively. Adds gives you a more precise aim, but it also slows your movement. Learn to balance when to hit fire for speed and when to adds for accuracy. 4. Improve your map knowledge. Aim isn't just about reflexes, it's also about knowing where to expect enemies. Improving your map knowledge will allow you to pre-aim at common choke points and positions where enemies are likely to appear. Spend time learning each map and figure out the high traffic areas, popular sniper spots, and common flank routes. By pre-aiming at these spots as you approach them, you can reduce the amount of time you need to react, making your aim feel sharper and more responsive. You can also use your minimap to anticipate enemy movements, giving you an edge in those crucial moments. 5. Play with the right settings. Let's talk about some additional settings that can impact your aim. First, Consider turning on gyroscope. If your device supports it, this allows you to fine tune your aim by tilting your device, which can be a game changer for precision aim. <laughs> Next, experiment with the aim assist feature. While some pro players prefer it off for maximum control, having it on can help newer players keep their aim steady, especially in close quarters combat. Don't forget to adjust your graphics settings as well. Higher graphics can make the game look better. But if your device starts to lag, it will hurt your aim. Find a balance that gives you smooth gameplay without sacrificing too much visual clarity. 6. Focus on weapon control. Different weapons have different recoil patterns, and learning how to control these is vital for accurate aiming. Spend time in training mode or multiplayer matches focusing on one weapon at a time, learning its recoil pattern and how to counteract it. For example, assault rifles generally have vertical recoil, so you'll want to pull your aim slightly downward while firing to stay on target. SMGs, on the other hand, often have less recoil but can be erratic, so short, 
controlled bursts are more effective than holding down the fire button. Also, remember to equip attachments that improve your weapon's accuracy, like corpus, stocks, and scopes. These can significantly enhance your aim, especially at longer ranges. 7. Maintain good positioning and movement. Even with perfect aim, poor positioning and movement can get you killed. To improve your aim, you need to make sure you're positioning yourself smartly and engaging. Avoid running out in the open or standing still for too long. Always keep moving, even when aiming. Play from side to side to make yourself a harder target, while keeping your aim steady on the enemy. Use cover to your advantage, peeking out to take shots rather than exposing your entire body. This way, even if your aim isn't perfect, it'll be harder to hit, giving you more opportunities to land your shots. 8. Practice, practice, practice. Finally, there's no substitute for practice. Improving your aim takes time and consistent effort. Dedicate time to practice daily, whether in multiplayer matches, training mode, or against AI opponents. Use drills like shooting at distant targets, clicking between enemies, and tracking moving targets to build muscle memory. The more you practice, the more natural your aim will become, and the better you'll perform in real matches. Remember, everyone starts somewhere, and with time, you'll see significant improvements. So, there you have it, some essential tips to help you improve your aim in Call of Duty Mobile. Whether you're playing casually or looking to climb the ranks, mastering your aim is a key step in becoming a better player. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more tips and tricks. Also, let me know in the comments which tip helped you the most or if you have any aim improvement techniques of your own. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Happy gaming! Don't forget to drop a like follow or subscribe. deployed. The revived flight will arrive in one minute.